So you want to learn how to create this smooth bouncy shake inside of After Effects. It's actually pretty easy to make and it's a part of my ultimate shake pack. And for you guys who don't know, I'm Lurkin Visuals and I run this like creative store where we got all of the presets, assets, overlays and all of that good stuff that you need to elevate your music video visuals. So before we get into this tutorial, make sure to go and check the first link in the description. But let's get right into this tutorial. So we're in After Effects right now and I got this uh, Lil Yachty and Drake music video. It's just a basic clip. You don't got any effects on it. But the first thing that I'll start off by doing is creating a new adjustment layer so right click go to new and create the new adjustment layer and i'll open up animation presets and in here i got this ultimate shake pack by lurking visuals of course who else and inside this pack i got 20 different shakes i got some trippy ones i got some really intense ones but overall just every shape that you need in your music videos and i'll drag on this bouncy shake 2 onto my adjustment layer and just like that i got this shake like you don't gotta be harder than that but as you can see we got all of these effects in here and i'll be breaking down this shake step by step but you won't be getting any of the other ones because i'll be gatekeeping that so the first effect that we can start off by adding is a wave warp just to get that kind of bouncy feeling so we can set the wave height to 38 so it looks like this and you can also mess with the wave type we got some cool ones in here but i will recommend the basic one or the smooth noise both of these ones look great and make sure that you keep your direction at 90 because that's what we want we can drag up the wave speed to 2 but now the keyframe in the wave height and go into like one second around here and drag it down to zero so now you can see it's completely gone and the next effect that i'll add on is a turbulent displays so this will also help, help us get that kind of bouncy look so we can drag up the amount to like 120 and i'll drag up the evolution to like 100 keyframe the amount and the evolution and then go back to one second right here and drag the amount down to zero and the evolution to zero as well so it will kind of move like get this wavy feeling as you can see and right now as you can see it's all over the place it looks really unprofessional but we will make it look a lot better soon you can also mess with the size i forgot to mention but i'll keep it like around 80 something like this and now we can add on a sapphire shake uh, to create this kind of shake and we can drag up the amplitude to 1.4 and make sure to turn on motion blur and make sure to have reflect as your wrap and we can keyframe the amplitude from 1.4 all the way down to zero and right now it looks like this which is a pretty horrible shake we have basically zero control over it whatsoever so i'll go into the x shape and i'll start taking control over basically everything so i'll turn down the random x amplitude to 90 and the rest of the numbers we could basically keep as they are because what i mainly want to do is get less x shake so i drag it down to 90 and more of a y shake so it's more uh, vertical and let's open up the y shake and we can drag up the y amplitude to 400 because like I said, I want more of a vertical shake. So this will basically make it just vertical. And we can drag up the random frequency to 1.4 or 1.5. As well as the wave amplitude to 7. And I'll drag up the wave frequency as well to 0.7. So now if I play through, it will probably be really heavy. And yes, it is. But we'll be messing a lot with the graph editor later on. So don't panic right now because it looks like this. But you can see that we're kind of getting where we want it to be. So the next effect that I'll add on is a transform effect to create a zoom. And with this transform effect, I'll drag it up to like, let's do 190 and keyframe the scale. And then go to one second like we've done for the other effects and reset it back to 100. And as a final effect, I'll add on an exposure to get some kind of flash in here for the exposure i'll be keyframing like for the first frame drag it up to like three now let's do two because three was way too much or 2.5 should do and then keyframe the exposure go like three frames in drag it down to zero go three frames in once again we can drag it up to two go three frames in once again or maybe a little bit more drag it down to zero press you on your keyboard so you can see your keyframes then you can simply just copy them and do the same thing again just mess around with the keyframes a little bit to get something you like. So now we got this. These flashes will maybe be a little bit too much after we've messed with the keyframes, but we can go ahead and change it later on. Make sure to turn on motion blur and let's select all of our keyframes except for the exposure ones and I'll easy ease them pressing F9. And let's open up the first effect, which is the wave warp and make sure that you're on the value graph right here and create a graph that looks something like this. 
so it goes really fast in the beginning and then just slows down so we can have a really smooth transition and then all you got to do is press the turbulent displays underneath and just do the same thing for that one and the next effect underneath just keep going do these do the same kind of graph and the same for the shake that's basically how you do this and let's play it through right now and see what we got and it looks really good the only thing that i'm not a huge fan of is this flash over here so i'll delete the last couple ones maybe this one as well this and then we set it down to zero just like that i'll keep the flash for the first like four or five frames like right here and here we got this wavy shake and i want to make it a lot smoother so instead of having my subject move around a lot in the background i'll hide my shake layer for now and i'll go to the background layer and one way to make these effects a lot smoother is by adding on a time warp or a twixter effect doesn't really matter it's basically the same effect i'll go for the twixter one but if you don't have twixter go for time warp and i'll change the frame rate to 24 because that's the frame rate of my clip and keyframe the speed and then just like right here drag it down to 20 and i'll play it through and see what it looks like it looks really good with the scene being like full speed for the first couple of frames and then slows down but i think i can slow it down even more to like 10. so now you can see we got this really smooth look that i'm really obsessed with it looks really good but that's basically it if you have any other effects that you want to add on feel free to add it on but i hope you learned something new if you enjoyed this tutorial feel free to leave a like and subscribe so i can keep dropping sauce like this for you guys if you want to go ahead and grab the full ultimate shake pack you know where i left the link i don't even gotta say it but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you.